Hey guys, this is the Canadian Baconer, and this video is going to show you how to use all of the Elite classes in Battlefield 1. Now I know when you first hop into the game, these Elite classes look very tempting to just hop in and play around with, but it is better to know how they work before you decide to use them. But first things first, you need to know, these people are not gods. They can do a lot of damage and they can take a lot of damage, but you are not all powerful and you will die if you are reckless. First up is the Flame Trooper. The Flame Trooper is personally my favorite, I just like the way he works and his flamethrower is really awesome. So what you want to do with this character is stay at close ranges, engage in close quarter combat because that's how you're going to be the most effective. His flamethrower has a little bit of range to it, but for the most part you want to stay at point blank range. You also want to catch people in tight areas, you know, trenches, tightly packed areas like the city on Sinai Desert and things like that. Play methodically with this character. He is very different to the tank hunter and the sentry in the sense that you really need to take your time and uh, you know pick out your targets. You don't have as much health as the sentry, so you will need to regen over a period of time. And that is what you can see me doing here in this video. Every time I get a couple of kills, I stay back, relax, take a breather, get some health back, and then I go back into the fight. And always stay moving, this kind of goes against what I just said, but what I mean by this is pretty much, if you kill an enemy, don't stay in the same spot as to where you killed them. Move around into a building, move around like around a rock or something. Make sure the enemy does not know where you are because that's going to make them easier to coordinate and kill you. Moving on, we have the Sentry. Now the Sentry is pretty much good at close range and medium range. Play very aggressively because he has a lot of health and he can dish out a lot of damage. Now like I mentioned, he is very good at close range. You can 1v1 anybody, no way they're going to win unless you are at a very low health. But like I stressed before, with the first elite class, um, you are not a god, you can still die. So just still take your time, regen some health and repeat the process. Last but not least is the Tank Hunter. Now I'm not that experienced with the Tank Hunter, I managed to get a pretty decent kill streak, as you guys can see right here. Everyone pretty much lined up for me and I was kind of amazed that I wasn't found earlier, but eventually I got killed. But anyway, pretty much what you want to do is stick at long range. This dude is sort of like the sniper of all of the elite classes. He is very effective at long range, but once you get very close, he will die instantly. Now I don't believe he has any extra health, so what you want to do is pretty much play like you would a regular soldier or a regular sniper and just stay in the back and let the pawns go in first. Also, let the enemy come to you. Because you are a sniper, uh, you don't really have a lot of firepower, especially with the tank gear, because they can only be fired from the ground. And if you get flanked, all you have is your pistol to defend yourself. Also, be aware of your surroundings. Use your cover to your advantage, as you can see right here in this clip again. I am always behind cover. I'm either laying prone on a sand dune, or I'm mounted up behind some cover on a building. That is how you want to play this character, because he will die very quickly if you are out in the open and the enemies see you. So hopefully you enjoyed this really quick guide on how to use all of the Elite classes. Um, hopefully you guys have fun using these Elite classes, they are very fun to use and it is very satisfying in getting kills. But remember, the more you know about these Elite classes, the easier it's going to be to do some damage on the battlefield. But if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed already for all of the latest and greatest in Battlefield 1, information and news as well as tips on BF1. But as always, thank you for checking out this video and this has been the Canadian Baconer. Stay crispy and I will see you in the next video. Peace.